Kensington Palace announced that the Princess of Wales will host the special service at Westminster Abbey on Friday, the 8th of December, for the third year in a row. According to the palace, this year the service will be a moment to thank all of those who work to support babies, young children and families in our communities across the UK, and a celebration of the golden opportunity that the birth of a new baby brings. In the photograph that accompanied the announcement of the Christmas service, Kate smiles next to a Christmas tree. The princess is wearing Holland Cooper's Ferrizel's knitwear. It's clearly a favourite, as she's reworn the knit numerous times. A source reveals on X that Meghan Markle's planning to appear to be readying the release of their holiday photo. This move is to steal the spotlight from Princess Catherine. The source said that Meghan claims to be Diana 2.0, so on this occasion she'll release a photo of her visiting the Diana Las Vegas exhibit. There's a replica of Diana's wedding dress there and authentic Diana evening gowns. Of course, she brought a handbag, Harry, and borrowed kids for a family photo for Christmas. You know that she'll go there sometime when she needs to draw attention away from the real royals. We can all guess what day they'll release it, December the 8th, to try and overshadow Catherine's carol concert. On Tuesday, she also released the pap walk photos when the royal family united in Buckingham reception. Wasn't last year's photo just Meghan and Harry at that anti-discrimination awards clown show and no kids? This year it will either be the same sort of thing or the backs of the kids' heads while they wander through a parking lot. We should have a bet on any Christmas card picture they or she will release. Will the kids be blurred? How old will they appear from a back of the headshot? The possibilities are endless. Another picture of Princess of Wales laughing as she happily plays the piano will wipe the Harkles off of all media, and the world's eyes will be firmly on Catherine this week. Yesterday, Princess Kate's business as usual in first outing after being dragged into the royal row. She appeared to be tackling her royal duties head-on despite the ongoing controversies in her first solo outing since she was dragged into the royal race row which has reignited with Omid Scobie's new book, Endgame. The Princess of Wales visited the Avalina London Children's Hospital on Tuesday, where she officially opened the facility's brand new day surgery unit as patron and chatted with staff, patients and families, the Mirror reports. The £55 million new facility allows children to be treated in one location on the same day. Mum of three Kate walked the same route as the children, visiting the centre including rooms offering pre-surgery checks, operation theatres and recovery areas. Her welcomed visit comes ahead of meeting with King Charles on Tuesday night, for the first time since they were named in a book as the royals who allegedly spoke of concerns about Archie's skin colour.